was one of the most hyped regular season games in NFL history. Joe Montana versus Steve Young. Master versus Apprentice. Two guys who weren't always the best of pals while occupying the same depth chart in San Francisco. And as if this matchup from 1994 needed any sugar on top, it featured arguably the greatest quarterback of all time in the new powers in the AFC versus the old guard of the NFC revamped for a Super Bowl run. The quarterbacks were rivals in every sense. The teams, quality in every sense. You just get the feeling in the stadium, and I'll guarantee it's big, and if it's not big for the stadium and the game and the whole thing the second week, it's big for two guys, Joe Montana and Steve Young. Montana's departure was a sore spot for both the franchise and its fans, and nothing short of a Super Bowl would ever put Young on number 16's level. So how did we get here? Namely, why was Montana wearing a Chiefs uniform and facing his former understudy? Well, these legendary quarterbacks collided at Arrowhead mostly because of one very big hit. Here's Montana, long time in the pocket. But chased out, finally hit from behind. The ball's loose and turnover maybe. Montana is still on his hands and knees. I'll tell you, that is the one we know about Joe Montana. We know about his back. And he really took a shot in that back. Leonard Marshall's ferocious hit in the 1990 NFC Championship game took Montana out of the San Francisco lineup for the better part of two seasons. A subsequent elbow injury was also the culprit, which paved the way for Young, who played well in his first season as a starter in 91. And even though Montana was ready to play by the end of the next year, Young had led the 49ers to a 14-2 record on his way to league MVP. Young pulls it down, comes back out, gonna take off. Knowing they had nothing to play for in Week 17, the 49ers front office let Montana start the second half that Monday night against the Lions, essentially an audition for teams around the league. And Montana's throw is caught by Jones! Jones, the lead for the touchdown! Exactly the way he hoped. Fans went nuts, in a good way. But not so much when Young turned the ball over six times in San Francisco's playoff run. Young, play action fake, okay. throws the ball up in the air, almost That's catches it himself. Steps away, throws it, intercepted by Murphy. The Cowboys are going to a Super Bowl. The 49ers had a very difficult decision to make that offseason. Sit the reigning MVP or trade a certifiable legend. With Young only 31 years old and Montana chomping at the bit to start, owner Eddie DeBartolo and GM Carmen Policy made the call. Despite having a better offer on the table for Montana from the Cardinals, they traded the three-time Super Bowl MVP to the place he wanted to go, Kansas City. Joe Montana making his AFC debut. The NFL would quickly be put on notice that the 37-year-old wasn't done. While Montana was on his way to a solid season, despite missing five games, Young continued his tear into 1993. The lefty threw 29 touchdowns to lead the NFL, while pacing the league in passer rating for the third season in a row. Both quarterbacks took their teams to the playoffs, with Young and the Niner offense running roughshod all over the Giants in the NFC Divisional. Meanwhile, Montana proved he had more than a little magic left. You didn't believe before, you believe now. Two running backs step up to line to receive. Back to pass, Joe Montana. Looks right, arches a pass into the end zone. A back pedaling, leaping catch. Touchdown! Hey, hey. I don't believe what I just saw. Montana Magic is back. The championship games were a different matter. Down the throw. Down the run. Doesn't get it. It is intense. Picked off by Thomas Everett. Sacked from behind. They've knocked Steve Young every way but loose. He has his jersey out, his undershirt hanging out, and he's feeling it now, too. Montana. Underneath. 
deep to the tight end cash and Montana hit as he throws. I think Bruce Smith got it. There's a lot that can go wrong when you're a quarterback at 37. Thus, the 1994 season marked a new start for both the 49ers and Chiefs, each of whom carried Super Bowl aspirations. San Francisco would add free agents like Deion Sanders, Richard Dent, and Ken Norton Jr. to try and get past the Cowboys. With veterans Marcus Allen, Neil Smith, and Derek Thomas, Kansas City felt they had all they needed as long as Montana could stay healthy. The Week 2 matchup wasn't just about teammates turned rivals, but of Super Bowl 29 hopefuls. The game itself certainly carried that energy. Montana to work again. As an air open, Willie Davis inside the five. I beg your pardon, it's Burden. Montana kept it. Stop. Touchdown, Valerio. You expect Marcus Allen to get it? You fake it to Marcus Allen and throw it to an old tackle, Joe Valerio. This is going to be a problem all day for the 49ers. Crowd noise. Waters from behind. Young in a passing situation. On the ground situation. Touchdown goes to Brent Jones. Here comes a blitz against Steve Young. Taylor. Hat to hat can get very loud. Logan, and he's in the end zone. Looked as if Young was having trouble hearing. Look out, safety. And Young is back to throw it. Chase, and down he goes. Allen in motion, Montana looking up the middle. Touchdown this time to Keith Cash. Rice in motion. And Young. Intercepted. Bounced off Brett Jones. Mincy. Allen. Touchdown. Marcus Allen scored the other for the Chiefs. Going deep. That picked off. Intended for Rice. William White. Young. Going to take off. From behind. Loose and the Chiefs had it. He doesn't get in. Young goes back to throw it and wheels it out to John Taylor. Taylor with the run after the catch, but the ball is loose and Kansas City has it. And Joe Montana could say that it didn't mean anything to him, but he's showing that it did mean something to him now. Despite the loss, Young got the last laugh as San Francisco finally got over the Dallas hump before winning the Super Bowl. Steve Young is now number one all time with six touchdown passes. Someone take the monkey off my back, please! No, 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 no. As for Montana, he did everything he could to keep KC in contention, including a Monday night performance for the ages. He throws to the end zone. It is yes. hard for a touchdown. Lord, you can take me now. I've seen it all. The now 38-year-old led KC to back-to-back -back wins in Week 16 and 17 to get them in the postseason. But against Miami in the wild card, a Hall of Fame career came to a close. Fourth down here. Joe looking for six, and it's knocked down at the goal line. Intended for Willie Davis. Worth noting. Montana went 26 of 37 for 314 and two scores in what was to be his final game. A quick postscript on this incredible regular season matchup between two all-time great quarterbacks. While Montana outplayed Young, there was a reason for it, and it wasn't because he was better than number eight. Rather, number 58 in Cherry Red made sure Montana was better. Young will throw, he's being rushed. He's headed to the end zone, Derek Thomas, Nailed Steve Young in the end zone for two points. The much anticipated matchup between two Hall of Fame quarterbacks was settled by appropriately a Hall of Fame linebacker.